In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the best concepts in all of Madden 23, a simple passing concept that's gonna beat man and zone coverage. We're gonna be talking today about the Y crossplay. Now the Y crossplay is an actual concept. If you come back out of here and you go into the concept menu, if you go to the deep pass, you'll probably find some type of Y cross. It could be a medium, medium cross here. You see slot cross, Y cross. This is a very good concept. It's, in my opinion, one of the best concepts for passing. Now, there's different versions of the same thing. We're going to teach you the foundational elements of the Y cross concept, how you can run it in your offense and win more games. Guys, thanks for watching this video. My name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day here on the YouTube channel. Uh, and if you want to get better at Madden, you really want to take your game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to check out my Patreon. Patreon is only $10 a month. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better player. Even if you don't run some of the ebooks that we put into the Patreon, it teaches you concepts, things, and how offensive and defensive schemes actually work. So if you want to become a member, $10, link is in the description. Let's talk about Y cross today and really the hallmark of this play. You can do this out of a lot of different routes. You can do this a lot of different ways, um, but I'm going to show you how to run this Y cross type concept out of this gun doubles uh, offset weak. You could also do, actually, I think I'll show it to you out of this formation, uh, gun doubles Y off. This is a great little formation here. PA go slot cross. This is the quintessential Y cross play. There's a little bit of a nuance to it, but by and large, it's one of the best plays in the game. Now, if you were running air raid or where this concept kind of originated, this guy would be out here and he would be running a five yard out or a 10 yard out, depending on how deep you want him to go. And also depending on how you want your crossing route to work. Now, the other thing that would happen is your running back would be running a swing route or some kind of backside flat route on the left side could be an in route could be a swing route could be a you know block and release if he was on the opposite side right um you could block your running back too by the way um and then there's also different variations of depth so for example you see here i could run a five yard out i could also with calvin johnson instead of running a you know 10 yard crosser i could run a slant or i could run a actual crossing route right or i could run a post route I can do all kinds of different things based off of the depth of the route that I want him to run. The same thing is true over here with Taysom Hill. I could put him on a five yard out. I could put him on a 10 yard out. I could put him on a whip route. I could even put him on an option route or, or a little baby hitch route right here, right? Um, all of it is gonna be read basically the same. And the beauty of this concept is you're gonna read this from basically from right to left. You're gonna to look to your fade and you're gonna see if you can hit that over the top of the defense. You're gonna then look to your tight end little out route. Then you're gonna to look to your Y or your Y crossing route in the middle of the field. And then you're gonna to look to your backside in route. So I love a concept looks basically like this. It could be a little bit of a different variation, but this is the core principle. You see, I'm gonna look out there to the right. Do I have space deep? No, do I have space shallow? Yes, right? So those are just simple ways that you can answer these questions really quickly. I'm gonna peek right, oh, that safety is gonna leave him one-on-one, -on -one, so maybe I take a shot over the top. And if I put short out elite on that player right there, if they play press man, a lot of times he's going to burn press man. So what this is going to do is it's going to start to get your opponent into bail techniques. Maybe that's off coverage. Maybe that's putting the third up there, different reasons why they might do one thing or the other. But the bottom line is here. Now I look, oh, he's not open, but now I look to my flat and I see, oh, my flat is wide open. So now they have to do things to stop your flat route game. Maybe that looks like basically creating a cover three makeshift defense on that side. So now when I look to the flat, I'm gonna not see, I'm not gonna see it open. So then I need to progress to the middle of the field and see if my crossing route is gonna come open like it did right there. Now the crossing route, what I love about the crossing route in general is the crossing route can come open at multiple points in any defense. So what, what does that mean? Well, that means that it is a route that is gonna be crossing or running all the way across the formation. So I can throw it there. I could also wait and throw it all the way across the formation, just like that. 
Now, again, I talked about how there's different levels of crossing routes. And really, I think one of the things that this boils down to is what is the user doing? And one of the things the user is gonna have to do is the user is going to have to basically run with the crossing route. So in this example, if the user runs with the crossing route, even if they play really good defense, uh, fundamentally sound defense across the formation, now you're gonna see that my dig route, even if I have to wait on it, is gonna get open. Either Somewhere in the yellow zones, that dig route's gonna be open. Now I'll show you another little cool thing that air raid teams love to do with this, and that is that they'll basically create a triangle read out of this. It's hard to show this in uh, practice mode just because of the way the practice mode is, or uh, because of the routes you get. But what you're gonna see here is if I put this curl out here, this is another variation of what you'll see an air raid team do. They'll do kind of a curl flat or they'll do a post curl uh, kind of concept, right? That is a great way to kind of, again, make sure and ensure that this play is well equipped to beat man, zone, and match coverage. So this play really boils down to how do we attack the space? And that's why I really like this play so much because I, I attack deep right, shallow right, I attack intermediate middle, I attack the, the deep right sideline, and then I've had the crosser. Now again, this crosser does not just have to be a deep crosser. It can be a five yard slant, a quick little uh, couple step slant route. I actually really like this against man coverage this year, and I love this against the blitz. Why? Because to stop the tight end out route, they have to play hard flats. So even if they're in a really good balanced zone defense on you, right, they don't have to go user the slant in theory. But what you'll see here is if I wait, I can highball that right over the top of the cover three defense. So you see how uh, this play is well equipped to attack all kinds of stuff. Now you can create the Y cross concept from literally any formation in the game. It doesn't just have to be doubles, right? We can do this from anything. Let me show you one of the best formations in Madden, and that is this bunch offset. It actually has a route in here that is really good for this Y cross play. This uh, speed dig play uh, is a great variation of essentially the Y cross, right? So I'm gonna come out and speed dig, and then we'll show you how to run this from bunch. What you can do with this is you already have a dig, you already have a nice little crossing route. So what we're gonna do is just take the tight end, put him on an out route. I like to motion CD Lamb outside, and then we're gonna take our solo receiver, put him on a fade, and then the back can either check release, like he is there, you could put him on a block and release, you could put him on an out route, you could put him on a table route, whatever you wanna do. Um, but what you'll see with this is the same basic thing. I've got that fade out concept, right? And then I have the running back. Essentially what we just did was we made the tight end the running back, right? And then we took the, the, the running back and we turned him into this fade out concept. So that's the basic format. And again, you can do this from anything. Um, another way you could do this is you could have two mesh routes and underneath like this. This is another variation of the same basic concept, right? Um, you could you could motion across, right? Somebody if you wanted to. Um, but you see there the cross route is really the, the bottom line and it's the best route, I think, um, because it, it, it really does put a lot of stress on the defense. Let's say we wanted to do something like this and run it, run it like this. What you'll see here, you got that fade out concept there. You see how that dig route really does a great job of spacing itself properly within the play. And then you have that crossing route coming across. Love the Y cross concept. I cannot talk highly enough about it. If you wanna learn more about this uh, play or just get better at Madden in general, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. $10 will get you access to everything, all of our eBooks, all of the updates to the eBooks. I teach the game at a very deep level over at Patreon. Um, so make sure that you get signed up for it. I guarantee you that it's gonna make you a better Madden player.